So, just for starters. I'm totally caffeinated in order to do this video. I'm going to be talking over is my video of my painting of SZA, a portrait of hers that was very inspiring due to where we are right now as a community, as a race, as a country. And uh, I, I'm just so inspired by her. So I was like, hey, Let's paint SZA. So, I will be talking through the journey of painting her and all that jazz. So, yeah, let's get... So, you know, I do the usual. I just do the 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 darks first. The, the darkest part of the portrait or any painting in general. I will say... Uh, if anyone knows how I paint, if anyone has ever had a painting class with me, I'm talking to you, Nathan. Uh, you would pro you would know that um, I take forever, but this is a whole new record of mine because I did the whole face in about the first 20... Well, actually, no, I had to do two takes that day. But each of them took like 20, 20 something minutes. So I would say like 40, 40 something minutes maybe. That's the quickest I've ever finished uh, the face of a painting. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of that. I struggle when it comes to getting like the right shade of someone's like face and stuff like that so being able to do I mean I feel like I made her a little bit too bright on the left side of her face versus everything else but in the in the original picture oh you know, she's outside and there is a bit of a light on the left side of her face and especially on her arm which by the way she has tattoos but I didn't put them on there because I I just felt like it would have ruined them, and I didn't. Tra I didn't think to trace them before I painted, before I started to paint. So that's my bad. But uh, yeah. The hair part, that was like the most fun part, but also like my biggest struggle because of the background that I'm gonna put. Uh behind her later on what also got me was that damn like the color that was on her cheek it looked red and for some reason i put such a thick red on her cheek I don't, I don't know why, so I had to get uh, the scraper thingy, whatever you call that. You can tell I'm an art genius, right? I had to scrape it off of her and redo it, and, like, low-key, it still looks the same, but, I don't know, I just thought I made her cheek a little bit. And then we get to the hair part, which... So the hair part, again, it was like the most fun part, but uh, it was a struggle once I put the background on, uh, which is going to be a yellow. So black paint and yellow paint, yeah, those you, you, you can definitely tell those are exciting colors that go together so well. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not, they're not, they're not, it's not fun. I may, I decided to make her dress green because she uses a lot of green and I love green and I love uh, Mother Nature, you know, I'm very hipster, I guess, if that's what you want to call it, you know, I'm for Mother Nature and, you know, stuff like that, but um, it's very, uh, it the green just represents her album control, which is like, how could you not love that album? So I decided to make her dress green.
And we start with the background. And yeah, again, you can totally tell that was fun to do. Uh, especially when it came to mixing it with the blacks. But then, like, on my palette, for some reason, the yellow got mixed with some of the red, I think. Or the purple. I forgot what it was. Which color it was. But yeah, it got mixed with some of the other colors. So I had to, like, kind of redo some parts of it with more you know just pure yellow but uh honestly i'm not too upset but what what's getting me right now is that if you look at the video or look at the photo uh if you're following me on instagram or snapchat you'll think that some parts around the hair is white but in reality it's not white but i don't like the fact that it looks like it in the video yeah i had to like scrape some yellow off because like the again um the black and the yellow, they go so well together, right? No. Um, I had to reduce uh, certain, like, strands of hair that was flying in the air. Be, uh, yeah. But, yeah, that is my painting. There's really not a lot to talk about, but that's just my journey with the painting itself. If you like this video, then please give this video a like. Comment down below what kind of paintings you would like to see me do later on. Um, this is going to be a thing of mine where we uh, paint every Sunday, I guess. And um, and also, there will be another playlist called Degrassi uh, Reactions where I react to Degrassi. And I post them on every Wednesday. So we're going to have a painting Sunday and we're going to have a... Uh, uh, a painting Sunday and a Degrassi Wednesday. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And I will definitely catch up with y'all some other time. Do what you gotta do. And, um, yeah. Black Lives Matter, by the way. Bye, guys!